Do you want to be able to change or remove squad registration rules from Football Manager 22? Well, this is the video for you. If you enjoy football management content and want to see more videos like this one, then hit that subscribe button. But more importantly, if this video has helped you, then leave me a comment below. First, we show you how to amend the squad registration rules for leagues and domestic cups. Then we go through of how this could be done for competitions like the Champions League or the World Cup. Right, let's get to it. We are now in the editor and we are going to show you step one. Again, when we want to do these type of rules, we need to, as always, go into the advanced rules. In this one, we can go straight to the nation. I'm going to go England. That's a safe bet for me, as I know it works. And then we go to convert to advanced rules. And yes, what this does is, is it, again, just allows you to choose all the rules for competitions within that nation. <laughs> Step two, how do you find for fixture rules? So we're going to change for fixture rules or squad registration rules within the English Premier Division. So we're going to just see where, what the index number is, just to make life easier. And to do that, you go down fixture time and rules, down to fixture rules, and it's index six. Then that means I can go back to England and go to for fixture rules because the fixture rules don't actually exist within the competition, it exists within the nation funny enough and we go down to rule six which as you see english fixture rules prem i mean you can search for it by just bringing up the menu and just having a look for it but i find this way is easier just so that you're not changing for wrong one <laughs> step three so here we are this is us now going to change stuff i mean in the first window here you can stop trialists playing in fixtures and stop use of squad numbers you can add in certain caps and wage budgets and things like that within here but we're not going to do that today all we're going to do is open up the window here of the rules and go down to squad registration periods and we want to change the max squad size to 30 make it bigger you could actually just take the squad size off and have it open but we're not going to do that in this one. And then you want to go down to squad selection rules and again change to 30. And I hear a lot of people going, oh, how do you get rid of like homegrown or for foreign player rules? It's, it will be within here as well. Squad selection rules. You want to select it. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of that homegrown rule and we're going to remove. So we need to save this. So save data as. We are going to call this Prem Squad Reg and save. <laughs> And then last step will be is to test for rules and go all. Now, I'm not going to show this bit. I'm going to skip it and I will catch you once it's done. All right, we are back. You are now verified. There we go. Six out of six divisions level verified. So we will save that again and we won't get that error message. There you go. It's all good to use. Now, I'm going to show you how to do something with the Champions League squad registration rules. It's a bit of a shortcut, but I don't have time to make for video to show you how how to create rules from scratch because this is what you're going to have to do with competitions that aren't domestic within a nation they are hard coded into the game within a continent of a fixture rule index that we don't have access to the only way to do it is override that with new rules so because of that we are going to just show you a quick win where you basically get rid of squad registration rules completely this will also get rid of like foreign rules and homegrown players and all that jazz okay and it's removing it it's basically telling the game we don't have any fixture rules <laughs> We will need to go, as I said before, where we didn't do it, go into Champions League, add it to a nation. We are again going to add it to England. We will remove it once all verified. Once set up, then we verify it and then we're good. So that's now in England. Then we need to go to add nation rules, England, current nations, da, 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 add lower divisions, and then back up to rules, convert to advanced rules. Yes. So that's any difference there. Add in Champions League to a nation. And then as you can see, we've got the champions league here yeah. and you can do this with any competition world cup european cup asian cup <laughs> 
So we've got European Champions Cup up. And what we are going to do is go down here to fixture times rules, to for fixture rules. And as you can see, fixture rules index one. And most likely that within the games on where there is in Europe, fixture rules index, just like in England that we did. But we can't get to it. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to put that as minus one because minus one doesn't exist. So that means it's just going to be removed. I, however, I did try. I mean, you got a tick box. If you untick it, it actually opens up all for fixture rules within for competition. But I tried editing some bits, even for simplest bits. It just was coming up with errors all the time. I would go back, try and change something. It was always a new error. And a lot of times it was popping up with a Europe something error. So with that, as we know, Europe rules, as I said, is hard coded. Keep it simple and just have it as negative one. <laughs> So what we're going to do is go back to the database now that that's done. Go back to European Champions Cup and select on none. So we clear that and then we will save data as and we will call this Champions League Squad Reg and go save. And again, we get that message, can't use in game. And then we go test rules and we go all. And we will let that run. Before I go and we go into the game, for the reason why I didn't show you game footage of the last one, what I'm gonna do is show you that you can use two editor files together. So within my new save game, I'm gonna have for Premier League squad registration rules and homegrown gone. And I'm also gonna have in Champions League, I don't have to register any players. I can just play the fixtures with the squad I have. Okay in a bit. <laughs> So for Champions League rules has been verified. As you can see behind me, I've loaded up the game. We are ready to go in there. I have to admit I had to change something because I've already done this, already went in, checked it and I made a boo-boo. If you want to do two edit files, if you're just doing England rules all in one hit, to be fair, I could have probably done Champions League all in one thing, but because I was showing a demonstration of the two, I did it as two. And plus this shows you how much I went to load the game and and editor does not allow you to have two nation edit files to be loaded together. Kind of makes sense. So I went back and redid what we've just done with the Champions League fixture rules and put them in a different nation. So I used France and now we are at this stage and I wanted to show you. And it gets to show you in one load rather than me having to go England load, France load for Champions League, Premier Division for England. Let's do this. That's enough of me rambling on. So you want to go database i've already got them selected so champions league squad reg which is under france because that's where we edited it under so it remembers that i know that we've taken champions league out of that nation but it remembers that's the rules that we changed within and then prem squad reg england confirm so this is going to load up two rules together so if you want to do i don't know sub rules across four five six nations you will be able to select all of them but i'm going to let the game load and i will see you in a minute right here we are we are in the game and we are going to go to for premier league and we will go to overview rules and we are looking out for for maximum squad sizes there we go maximum squad size 30 players and if you look within here there's nothing about homegrown players at all job done now champions league or european cup champions cup and we will go to rules and what we did here oh yeah we removed them so we scroll down like we did for a premiership and there you go there's no squad registration rules we still have match rules of us in a different area just think i can now play a game without having to register any players for champions league and in premier division i can have a squad of 30 players and i don't even have to worry about homegrown players and same with european champions cup there's no rules like that anymore as well. We removed them completely. So it's just like playing for FA Cup, League Cup. And there you have it. Thank you for watching. And I hope I catch you on for the next one. <laughs>